Hey guys, what's up? It's Marty here from Nintendo Dads, and we're checking out another brand new game for Nintendo Switch. One that I am super excited about. It's called 1980X, and this is a code that's been given to us by the developer for me to check out. But I, this is a game that I really wanted us to check out because it is a story of a guy who basically finds his worth, lives his life through a recreation of old school arcade games. And each of the five levels in this first part of 1980X is going to take you take us through a different type of game in each one. And I cannot wait for what this is going to be like. And uh, like, I'm just super excited. I'm really, really excited about all this good stuff. So um, let's get in here and let's take a look. Uh, first up, let's check out the options screen. I always want to see... Was there are subtitles? We're going to turn those on because I like subti subtitles. Because I'm getting old and it's hard of hearing. Just to be real honest. So we're going to go here down the lit hallway. Follow the arrow here. And see what happens. This is actually the first time I have ever booted this game up. And so you are, we're reacting to this live as, or I'm reacting to this live as you see, uh, you know, as, as I'm seeing it, you're seeing it. Oh, come on now. Looks a little like uh, Final Fight, Streets of Rage. Okay, now what is this? Beating heart. Press one player start. Here we go. Press A, that must have been one player start. Or Y. This is very eerily reminiscent of the uh, final fight level in the subway. Okay. Y punches, B jumps. I guess that's all I need to know. Feels really good. She had a knife. I wish I could get the knife. Can I dash? No. Right, got a throw there. Yeah. Old boys here. He doesn't want to. He don't want to. He don't want any of what I got. Let's, let's go noise. No, that was riot. Yep. Money. Look, I want your knife. Or do I want the baseball bat? Now, now that's really what I want. Ah, this is noise. Oops. Yeah, there we go. All right, so far so good. I mean, it it, it fits the bill. It, it feels like a late ni 80s, early 90s game. Now this looks a little bit more like Streets of Rage, I think. Wasn't there a guy in Streets of Rage 3 that looked a lot like, like him? Oh, I knew it. I knew with being in the street, I was like, there's going to be a motorcycle or something. Should have been out of the way. Oh, well. Maybe there's going to be something in here. Nope. A hamburger. Because that's what you want right in the middle of a fight. It's like, I'm, I'm sweating and I'm breathing heavy. I need a hamburger. This guy doesn't look like a Bubba. I bet there's another one called Bubba. Anybody remember Hubba Bubba Bubblegum? Watch, here comes Bubba. I promise. He might even be a guy with overalls just so they make fun of the people from the south, right? I don't even think I was like near that guy and I hit him. <coughs> Excuse me. 
more money. Oh, and a soda. That's real healthy too. All right, Y and B together. Yeah, here comes Bubba. I'm gonna. T I'm gonna. Look. Yep, there he is. I told you. I've not played this game before. I promise. But I saw Hubba, and I was like, Yeah, there's gonna be a guy named Bubba. Uh, Bubba has uh, quite a punch there. So does uh, Riot. What kind of person's named Riot? I guess somebody in what's damage. So dear. Where did my bat go? It just it disappeared. There went Hubba. Oh, uh, there's uh, Bubba. Bubba with the mean uppercut. Like right now, I'm like, this is fun and all, but I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, there's got to be something here, right? No. Obviously, it's guys on motorcycles. I need some health. Uh oh. Uh-oh. What? Now, hang on. This is not like... What? What? Uh, what? What? What's going on? What? Hang on. What? Where did my character go? I mean, these are nice visuals. I, I love this art. It's fantastic. Music's great, too. So that was it. Like the, when you know, a Jawa shows up, like Karate Jawa shows up, and all of a sudden, the level's over. High Bit Studios. By the way, thanks to High Bit Studios for providing a copy of the game for us to uh, review and play. Oh, so it's the city, and yeah, you're the kid. Okay. There it's I obviously was. the 80s, because there's a walk. There I was up in my room, just like just every like other, every other night. night. Counting tail lights. Counting on the tail lights on the highway. Soon the cars below. Soon the cars reach below the would reach the city. For me. For me. I'd still be here. I'd still be Stuck here. in sleepy suburbia. I didn't realize it was reading it too. So I thought. But sometimes extraordinary things will happen if you just let them. Nineteen eighty X. Maya Tuttle as Kid. It's a good name for a kid. All right. Not real sure what's happening here. Oh, here we go.
Maybe this is going to be a paper boy level. Welcome to suburbia. Just outside the city. Sometime in 1980X. What you see around here used to be all that I cared for. Because it was all that I knew. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode my first bike, found my first love, and found out that nothing lasts forever. This is the place I grew up in and grew out of. A place I loved. I remember walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward, but every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. The same office buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat, and the video rental place where dad used to take me on the weekends. He'd be looking for classics. Well, I was more into superheroes. Oh man, we could go on forever. But then, we didn't go there anymore. It was no big deal. These days, I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. And that was when I found it. The factory was built long before I was born, but it had been shut down and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there, but there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. Ah, there we go. It took all the guts I had to go down the stairs. The basement air was thick with cigarette smoke and 10,000 volts of energy. And in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures, their huge crystal clear screens flashing before my eyes. I had seen video games before, Dad even brought home one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. <laughs> and this place was definitely no hangout for children. In front of these machines stood some of the coolest uncool people I had ever seen. They were the freaks, the geeks, the misfits, the outcasts, the real rebels, part of something the outside world could not understand or even knew existed. These guys were all playing trance-like, totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. Maybe I could be one of them. All right, so this is obviously a different type of game. We're going to have a space shooter here is what it looks like. Out of the void. I like it. So what's it going to be? 
Ooh. Oh, this is definitely our type. Charge up the cannon here. I like this. This is nice. Ooh. But the question is, are there any power-ups? Yes, right there in that thing. Speed. Whoa, I like that. Lots of explosions. I like explosions. Those guys got some power to them. Explode explosions. Uh huh. 10,000 points. That was not what I expected. And we got a big ship coming in there on the back. There's several big ships. Lots of explosions there, too. Okay, that one is in the foreground. That is not good. Um, uh, that ain't good either, right there. I just, look, I don't. Shoot with Y. Not really anything going on with the B button. So, these you cannot shoot. I mean, you can shoot them, but they don't do anything. Just charge up the shot here, because who knows? Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Power up. Gotta have the power up. Oh, crap. Oh. Yep. Not. Yeesh. Come on, what's that? Laser. Yes. I like the lasers. Ooh, I'm glad I have them too. Okay, now we're moving into a little more, a little more gradius, and not just our type. I like it. That's not promising anything. So that means it's gonna stay that way. This reminds me a whole lot of Gradius 3, which is a good thing. One of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I took some damage there. It wasn't good. Didn't mean to. Just wasn't paying attention. Sure did. Uh, not good, not good. Uh oh. Um, what? There's obviously something bigger coming. Yep. Oh. That wasn't good. That wasn't good either.
You know, a life bar would be nice. Oh, beat him. No, no, I thought I did. Crap. Like a brain. And I only have one life left, and I'm going to have to fight the brain. I really bet I'm going to have to fight the brain. That's why I can still shoot. Or not. It wouldn't be fair to say I didn't do my best in school. At least for a while, I really tried to make it work. But now, walking those hallways with all those people, I wasn't really there. I was on an asteroid somewhere, fighting space invaders. But then there was her. punk rocker from the Southern District. She was the wildest thing I'd ever seen. Oh man, that girl was born a rebel. Free to go wherever she wanted to. Free in a way I could still only dream of. The Runaway, this uh, looks like may, might be a racing game. As I'd say, I, I'm really enjoying this game so far, and the variety uh, is really cool as well. You know, it's th three well-made levels so far. Uh, how do I go? Oh, okay, A button now to go, and this is definitely OutRun. love it kind of reminds me of uh, Horizon Chase Turbo which has come out on the switch which is another great game and to a lesser extent asphalt asphalt of course a little more graphically superior as well as being you know having the online element in combat as well and it's absolutely free so if you haven't checked that out it might be one that you do want to check out station wagons if I see Optimus Prime, I'm going to freak out. I'm only going 255 miles an hour. Like, what in the world? Why, are, why is the station wagon going 250 miles an hour? Also reminds me a little bit of Rad Racer from Nintendo back in the day. This is a game that I never really got to play much of, but was always super interested in when I was a kid in the 80s. I knew one friend who had it. I got to play it like at his house like one time. That friend also had the Power Glove. We may or may not have tried to play Rad Racer with the Power Glove. It did not go well. Oh yeah, this is definitely Shades of Outrun. Love it. Am I going to make it to the checkpoint? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh no. There it is. It's right there. Oh. Time up. 
I wonder what the point was. Was it just to make it through the whole thing? Now I'm gonna start over. Wow. Well, guys, that has been our look here at Nintendo Dads for 1980X, and this game is available right now on Nintendo Switch, and it is the first part of the game. Uh, they promise more parts will be coming eventually as well, and so you'll definitely want to check those out. You can head over to the eShop and download this, and we want to thank Hybit Games for giving us a review copy, and I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play and, and the levels that we've seen. There's actually two more game types uh, the game promises in here in the final two of five. You know, there's five levels. We've seen three of them. If you count the uh, the initial, you know, Streets of Rage type thing as as a level and not a tutorial or intro to the game, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I'm definitely going to peel back the layers of the onion, and I'll talk a little bit more about this on the podcast next week as well. And so, guys, thanks for watching. As usual, keep it locked here at YouTube. Uh, and go download all of our podcasts every Friday uh, over on your favorite podcast service of choice. You can also check us out at patreon.com backslash Nintendo Dads, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get in and be part of the awesome community that we're building over there. And so, guys, for the rest of the dads, this has been Marty. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.